Troll Warrior versus Druid, and I'm really excited to see this match, and I'm surprised if the Execute gets actually redrawn. Against the Druid? Against the Druid. I, I, I like this hand against the Druid. Yep. So he innervates out something. You still have the opportunity to slam execute. You, do, you don't like the slam? Like, I, I would keep the slam, actually. I like the slam, too. There could be the option to draw a Taskmaster, for example, yeah. which you could ping with or a Whirlwind, so you can turn two actually kill someone. The slam is okay, and now he holds double execute, so I think he would have preferred to have the slam. Still, there's the armor smith already, so yeah, gonna drop it turn two, and then you have your armor smith. And the black knight could get some value. Seems to be the totem druid. Is well, no, no, it could be both, but the power of the wild is oh, it yeah, it kind of signature. It could be just token druid with power of the uh, it could be just normal druid ramp with one power of the wild or two power of the wild that's like always a possibility the hand is not so good for Seafear. i mean he could coin coin innervate the druid of the claw but against the warrior it's always yeah do you want to do it are you 100 percent certain no and i'm surprised i, I wouldn't risk it i'm surprised that kill is not dropping the armor smith since he has no trigger for the execute at the moment yeah, he wants to keep it and just like really wants to armor up every single turn to get a big, yeah, big beefy shield. But he already has the brawl and that's so strong against the token druid. I'm surprised he innervates out here his minion. He could have gone for the white crows in this situation and he still could have burned the armor down to one next turn. So there was no need for me to, to drop the innervate. Wow, super, super nice redraw here. You need the taskmaster. It's just amazing. So you can execute it away. Any other way, you would be like, okay, Armorsmith, Armorsmith dies. Mm. You definitely want to keep that one. And now there's a decision. Are you going to harvest Harvest coin Ras? Harvest coin White Crows? Coin Wild Crow. Definitely. I like the White Crows so much. The main problem is just for Seafier, there is nothing to play. So yeah, he White Crows, and if he top decks an Ancient of Lore, perfect. But at the moment, he has nothing to play. And the hand for Zap Killer is like so not cool. Nah, it's not really the best. You get a shield slam, but you're not gonna two damage shield slam on that minion. Not gonna happen. Really needs a shield block to get rid of big minions. Mm -hmm. The good thing for a Sapphire is that he already holds the big game hunter on his hand. So he knows he has something Absolutely to clear perfect. late game beasts, which is important. I think we might just see the Raz here. Uh, it could be card draw Raz on the 1 4 actually, and then hero ability and then attack. You give him a lot of armor, mm -hmm. but you could draw a card. Or you just go for the 3 damage plus hero ability. You clear the minion since you got the Ancient of Lore next turn, which is absolutely perfect. So he clears the board, but he, d he did a slight misplay. He killed first the Taskmaster and gave him one armor more. Yep, should have done it the other way around it was okay it's like a really small mistake but those things shouldn't happen well we saw people surviving with one hp you know <laughs> can make a difference wow ragnaros ragnaros even his end this could be super annoying i mean that's like seven damage on the board he could pop the ragnaros or just the charge druid of the claw plus a roar next turn that would be four nine eleven plus eight so 19 damage is possible next turn that one gets wrecked. Good old shield slam. Always perfect. Yeah, he has seven armor. Like he's so healthy. Oh, I love the move he can do. So he has a violet teacher plus the power of the wild, and he can make a three two harvest golem to Which will survive. And the Trade the white crows, the second one. So he could just go for the white crows first to get another creature if he really wants to. I think he's gonna keep it for the card draw. Yeah. But he could have just gotten another creature. But I think like having having another card. Instead of a 2-2 two, two minion is stronger here. I say, I mean, it's card draw turn 10, as you say. And there's always the danger of a brawl, which... That kill already holds on his end. I'm not sure if what I would do now. So I think dropping the Gorhal and then just ending the turn. Ending? Yeah. Because next turn you want to brawl Gorhal? Yeah, in theory. But mm. the pro like... It's turn 9. You could be dead next turn. Exactly. Like, how much damage does he have on his... He has nine damage with uh, force of nature, roar. Yeah, that's uh, way too much. It's like plus 14, that's 23, plus another six, 29. Oh, he would survive that. If he, if he calculates and he's like, okay, I would survive that giant burst. Yeah. 
I would survive it. Yeah, I'm okay with this. And then he brawls. Like the okay, yeah. the, the best play to clear the board is in theory just play a gore howl and uh, kill the violet. You could leave it. Yeah, you can kill it. Um, that takes you one target to brawl, and then next turn just brawl, kill whatever is alive. Yep. So that's exactly what you need to do. Main problem is going to be if there's Ragnaros and Ragnaros stays alive. Well, now it's it's actually or um, a goodie that he killed it. I mean, with his second power of the wild and the roar, some damage coming there. Well, I mean. He he can cleave and hope that it hits. Or he can kill the 2-2, two -two, yeah. cleave, execute. Yep. He doesn't need to brawl now if he doesn't want to. The brawl is pretty deceiving, but oh, this could... This could oh backfire. Oh, yeah, so, so good. So now you can kill the Harvest Golem and you can cleave. Or you just cleave, I'm sorry. The Harvest Golem is already dead. I was uh. like, what the fuck? Getting... I really I well. I think that was really risky. That could have backfired hard, uh, but uh, we know it was one out of three that the Ragnaros survived. Yes. And then <laughs> still you can attack and execute it. Worst case scenario. Take eight damage. Worst case scenario, <laughs> as uh. I say. It wouldn't be optimal, but it will work out. No, actually, he always wins. Ragnaros always wins. No, Brawl always is the perfect solution because if Ragnaros survives, it spawns the small harvest machine you can still trigger Cleave the execute. execute. Yeah. Absolutely. We forgot about that. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Nunia. Yeah. What oh the hell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can kill that 4-4 four four easily. The main problem is he's just getting closer and closer. Oh, his own Ragnaros. Mm, I wouldn't recommend dropping that. I don't like it. Uh, okay, he, he's just going for the risky play here. Just kill the right one. Be on 15, which is extremely good. And hope for Ragnaros hitting the minion. No. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely It was 50-50 that he loses if there's Force of Nature wrong. If there's Force of Nature. Let's see what this is their redraw for safe here. Whoa. That ain't perfect, but he can just pick Game Hunter. Yeah, so, exactly. so that's really good. And the main problem for that kill still, he's 13 HP. You're just gonna die to a force of nature and a roar. I was uh, no mission inventor. Needs card draw. Oh, let's see what he draws. Oh, part yeah. of that's just like exactly what you don't want to have. All those weapons la now, not. Oh, great. Oh, he can armor up. But okay, is that is that actually lethal with the savage roar and the swipe? That's four six ten GG. Yep. Yep. Now oh, it's a just easy mode for Seafear, It seems here. But picking the control warrior first is really bossy. Uh, in theory, just like the win rate of the control warrior against other decks ain't that high to just go crazy on control warrior. I think he should have went for the druid first, as yeah. we always like to say. Druid first ha is like so versatile. Druid, great win druid or miracle rogue? I mean, both are so versatile. Yeah. So the first game of MIA versus Planet Key goes to Seafear, but it's a best of three. Yeah. So he needs to win at least one more to make it complete the first set of the best of five. Oh, very cool. Yeah. That's always a deck with... It can win against anything. It can absolutely win against anything. I like the Van Cleef, keeping the Van Cleef, but it could be... It could backfire on you if you keep the Van Cleef and you don't have a prep or the coin. Like, wi with a coin, I would absolutely agree on the Van Cleef. Go mm -hmm. for the turn two turn weapon two up. No, no, turn uh. two weapon up and then with a Deadly Poison turn three. Uh. Coin, Deadly Poison, Van Cleef, 6-6. Six, six. The good thing is he has Deadly Poison, Sinister Strike, Van Cleef, turn five. Potential turn five play. Yeah, or just turn four, go again for Deadly Poison, Van Cleef. Just, just have it for a four. I think it's okay to make only a four, four Van Cleef. Six, six would be perfect. On the hand for Seafear, he's just shaking his head. I mean, Only yeah, double spells. roar, <laughs> innervate coin. That ain't the perfect hand. I think I would shift now. And actually, there's a turn six potential of uh, Van Cleef, Shadow Step, <laughs> Van Cleef, 6-6 six, six Van Cleef. Which is my favorite against Druids. The really cool thing is, if you're able to turn five, for example, drop a 6-6 six, six Van Cleef. Next turn will... Well, he can't get a bigger Van Cleef than 6-6. Six, six. Uh, he shouldn't. That would be uh, too bossy since uh, there's a big game. Wow, so la that does our inner raid. Man, that guy is getting devastated here. <laughs> so if he draws a Ragnaros now, just perfect. Like, go inner raid, inner raid, Ragnaros. We don't care. And zap. <laughs> yeah, but, but like this? What the hell? 
I would actually, de I would have deadly poisoned before, then play him, and then go fan of knives. Just make him six six and draw a card, since, yeah, your hand ain't optimum at all. Like this, you just invite him to swipe. Yep. Or ras. Oh, there's the first minion, and it's, <laughs> a really, it's a really good minion, especially he can just innervate and go for the ras. It's yep. like it's like freaking perfect. Wow, and the follow up is an Argent Commander, so there's like okay, a Zudrake. Auctioneer, kaboom, just charge it down. Yeah, and I mean, he has double roll in his hand, so uh, turn 9. No, turn 10, potential force. No, it's 9. Force I think of nature, roar. I would no, have liked nine. the yeah, I would have yeah. liked the 6-6 six, six Van Cleef. Yeah, I'm just a big fan. I think he could have just swiped and rested, but then he delays his own turn more. I Yeah. I think I, I just miss uh, the play here. That could backfire really hard on you, especially if that Kittle is not drawing any auctioneers. And it ain't looking good. He needs to attack and backstab, take another Question four is damage. Are you gonna sap it so he has to invest six mana again? Well that would be that would be no 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 no. What? He doesn't want to take uh, four more damage. But I would take him since that was your last spell to deal with anything. So there's just simply a Yeti coming. So you get a sap it, you're sure. But if you did it the other way around, you would have had one more chance to deal with something. And what is Seifer going to redraw? I mean, his hand is ain't, ain't getting better. So there's a Keeper of the Grove. Just drop it right now. Yeah, He's Van Cleef was already played. Like, why not? Power of the Wild, another minion. So at least he gets a small minion army out. And he has double roar, innervate swipe. Which would just burst you out of life. I mean, that's 5 damage plus 12. Oh. That's 17. That's 21 damage he could deal. Is he going to sap the Keeper? Oh, he's going to sap the... <laughs> yeah, because else his silence would have just get silenced. Hero ability. And he needs the card draw right now. Salnus needs to die. If there's a silence again for Seafear, that would be so freaking perfect. Okay, another Argent Commander. Just drop it and go for the face. You could Argent Commander, Coin, Roar he wants to play the 2-2 two -two. and FaceTime and FaceTime yeah but the 2-4 I would ki kill Selnus you don't want to face a 2 damage fan of nice which kills your e well then I would just go for wait 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 how much damage can he deal it brings him down to 15 next turn 6 he wins next turn anyway turn. with a double roar yeah, exactly two, two then I would alive. yeah perfect yeah, hero ability and then go for the face. Oh, he could have damage. also just gone for... Th there's, by the way, the Fan of Knife. So, listen to me. Kill the Salonis. He could have also played the wolf uh, or his his creature and then go for Innovate Hero Ability. And this, kids, is how he lost the match. By not yeah, going into an auction here. <laughs> or a Zua Drake. Well, he or as a Ring Farseer. He could have gone SI seven. Co completely crazy and just <laughs> made a giant bank leave. So he didn't made it, obviously, since yeah, of course not. there was a keeper later on. But that took actually some time. So with the Giant Van Cleef, it would have looked a bit better, but it wouldn't lead into a win. I think the draw here for that kill was extremely unhappy, uncool, unlucky. And Unfortunate. He just, he just gets completely wrecked by that double roar and the swipe. Super nice here for Seafear. That second game was rather short. Indeed it was. And, and, and the problem was was not that Setkill did any